and welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In earlier video, we talked about Azure global infrastructure. We talked about geography, we talked about Azure region, we talked about Azure data center and other things. In this video, we are going to see a virtual tour. So Microsoft has created a portal where we can go and visualize using 3D that how this technology, how this data center and what is the different rooms looks like over there. So we will go ahead on that portal and we will see. Before going to Microsoft website, we will go to another portal which display all the location where this data center are there for different cloud provider. So this is the site which is called cloud infrastructure map which host all these details for different cloud providers where we can see all the location and other details. Let's see for example if we wanted to see where the data center for AWS is located we can see all the details which is right now into red seeing that on ramping green is local zone and blue is cloud regions. Let's go to Azure uh, one and we can see the details for Azure one and Azure ones we can see that metro area area is where is that zone so what is the reason all the details we can see all this are going to come here that hey this is in Germany let's see about in India this is in Pune three zones are there we can see the three things are coming it can, we can go ahead and see in Mumbai we can see in Hyderabad we have we have in Chennai. Now let's go to another place where we can see that hey let's select the geography inside the United States we have this geography and what are the locations details are there all this we can see if you wanted to change that one like India we can see that regions are in Central India, India South Central, South India when this uh, year opened this data center what is the compliance and other details what is the data residency we talked about in two earlier tutorial section so we can see that all the details we can see and what are the products in this region we can go ahead and see the details so that is how it looks like in that way what is the product or uh, services are available in that department so this is one way to look into that one let's go into data center virtual Tool and this is the site where virtual tool is given by Microsoft data centers so we can go ahead and see that one so let's go to see these are the maps we have seen that one so it is now going to load so this is data center virtual tool provided by Microsoft this is the place where we can go and see that one and if we wanted to see what are the legend and other things are there then we can go ahead and click that one and legend we can see that if i rotate this globe then we can see that these are the regions these are the geography if we see these are the Kannada geography uh, there are two regions are available and all the details are given if we wanted to go inside any regions then we can see that in this region when it was open what is the location is there and all the details are there for all this compliances and other things let's see another one if we wanted to see edge zones these are the edge zones these are the network pop all the details are there right? see that when i can remove all these details and try to see only ground stations then we can see that all the details are there where wind it is running from wind solar or mixed all these details we can see reason filter right what are the compliance is there we can go ahead and see that one uh, disaster recovery options are there reason pairing is there what are the details for pairing and other things we can go and see that now let's go a little bit more details for data center virtual tour Let's see that one. These are that global infrastructure map looks like where wind power is there, right? We can see that carbon usage for that one. What is the carbon usage? 
Microsoft will be carbon negative by 2013 15. So that is good thing. And we can see a little bit more details that hey, these are the Azure model data center and other things are coming. Let's go ahead and see inside the lobby. Let's explore the lobby. So this is the lobby looks like for any of the data center. Right. Let's go next to operation rooms. Let's explore the operation rooms. This is how a operation room look like where people are looking into that data center about various matrices, what is happening over there. And we can go and see inside uh, YouTube also it is given. The Microsoft Cloud runs in data centers which must be operational 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all year, every year. This requires continuous monitoring of the data center's critical infrastructure, including power, cooling, network, cybersecurity, and more. It's all overseen by a facility operations center. The facility operations center checks hundreds of so we can see Azure that all this AI ops is moving from so this all around the globe, and always monitor monitoring all our services things that what is and thousands of that one thousand of matrices comes right and that all will be checked out our global and infrastructure and cloud services this operations room so that that thing is there now let's go to mechanical area and we can go and see that about mechanical area let's explore the mechanical area see these are the modern data center cooling machines. Right? And we can go and see the more details provided. Centers the cooling and heating needs with power cooling and uh, power cooling and other things work for that one. This is for heat energy and other things. So let's go to inter server room now. Let's explore server room. So this is how one server room looks like. Right? These are the blade server blades. These are GPU blades looks like. All these blades are looking like. Expect another things are there. GPU blades, board blade, right? All details are coming. Let's see about uh, some of the things for anatomy of a server room. Welcome to one of our data center server rooms. Here is where the cloud's enormous computing and storage capacity live. These server racks are designed using Project Olympus. So these are the specially designed server racks and other things depending upon use cases Workloads, and other like things. Microsoft 360. Now let's see that one, that this is infrastructure hardware, then they are server cap cities and other things. Now explore circular center and this is how it looks like. Now let's go to network room. Let's explore the network room. So this is how the neat and clean network wires are there. Now let's go to innovation room. This is 
this is about project natic which is underground uh, which is a underwater data center this is about dna storage storage and other things uh, uh, there are some project is running with uh, quantum computing so that also is there right these are the map view of that room all this data center where we have just entered right it is lobby and then we uh, after lobby we came into server room then operation room then circular center then we came to innovation room mechanical area all this area we have visited network room all this we came and visited all this details so we can see that liquid immersion cooling technique so there, there this are uh, this is how one data center looks like where you can find a lot of details about that and if we go back once more time to server room then we can see that details for all this so this is what i wanted to cover in this video i hope you will like this video thank you mm -hmm.